been with us for 24 years. Its power has grown from 260 bhp to over 400. It's put on nearly half a ton in weight. It's the Porsche everyone talks about. The 911 Turbo. There hasn't been one on sale since the new shape was launched in 1997. And, as always, it's the version that Porsche love to keep you waiting for. But now, it's here. And for the first time, it's moved into the modern world with a detuned version of the water-cooled 3.6-litre twin-turbo that powered Porsche to victory at Le Mans in 1998. It produces 420 horsepower and will propel this 911 to 189 miles an hour, at which speed is surprisingly stable. high-speed stability is thanks to ever-improving aerodynamics, with the airflow both over and under the car creating downforce which helps stick the car into the road. Well, most of the time anyway. This latest turbo only has a little bit more power and a little bit more torque than the previous version. But what it does have is Porsche's very latest Vario Cam engine management system, which constantly and seamlessly alters the nature of the engine throughout the rev range, unlike Honda's VTEC system, which is much more like an on-off switch. With only 100 turbos coming to Britain each year and over 200 deposits already on them, there's a long waiting list. And those lucky few have been given an early Christmas present as Porsche have just dropped the price from £97,000 down to £86,000. And that's six less than the previous model. The turbo sits just one inch lower than this standard 911 yet sets itself apart with a deep front air dam that snarls out from under its own trademark headlamps. And of course, at the rear, there's a wing, which this time only goes up when the car reaches 75 miles an hour. So you won't be seeing any of those on British roads, will you? You can now even have an automatic Tiptronic gearbox with your turbo. But when that Vario Cam system allows you to pull cleanly from 20 miles an hour to 190 miles an hour in six, why bother? The four-wheel drive powertrain varies from 95% to the rear normally, down to 60 when things get a little bit on the wild side. But what that means is that the predominant handling characteristic is understeer, 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 which, as you know, isn't my favourite, but it is the safest when you've got this sort of power going through those wheels. But this 911 isn't so much about handling, it's more about grip, grip, and more grip, because you can plant that 420 horsepower on the road and go around this Millbrook Alpine test circuit at speeds I'd never previously dreamt of. This is one hell of a road car.